Esports Boston Club will feature a deep character experience with many different fighter attributes, ranging from punch and power to discipline. ESBC will also feature a groundbreaking trait system that's never been used in boxing. But in recent days though, and more so after the announcement that the ESBC page was now active, the topic of what's more important, a deep character roster versus gameplay mechanics versus character customization has become more pronounced. So let's take a look at what we have and what information we've gained from the new ESBC page while also taking a look at where the developer's focus should be at moving forward. So stay tuned. Firstly, let me get out of the way that nothing really beats gameplay and mechanics. It is at the center of what your game will ultimately be judged upon. When designing a game, developers seek to create challenge, mastery, and reward all in order to keep the attention of the player. ESBC has promised to deliver over 50 attributes, tons of gameplay features, revolutionizing footwork, skills, and traits that your character can learn in a form of RPG style leveling system and a fate system that will ultimately force reactionary and reads based fighting move over button mashes because if this is any indication of what is coming real matchup analysis will be necessary in order to really stay relevant in this game all these things help to create an in-game meta gaming meta is necessary in order to create a competitive identity within the gameplay but just as good as this can be it also means that balancing will without a doubt become an issue that will need to be addressed all of this leads to a very simple conclusion. Developers must stay in tune with what the community wants in the gameplay and mechanics, but they have the added difficulty of making sure the gameplay caters to the hardcore numbers crunching frame counting competitors, offering as much challenge and reward to initiate that state of flow to heighten appeal while also balancing the game in a manner that the casual player won't pull their hair out while trying to enjoy the game. Secondly, I like to address the roster. Roster size is important in many ways, but what mostly comes to mind is the way fans engage with in-game characters. Having the ability to control and possibly lead your favorite fighter through an entire career is to some an extremely engaging experience. Other factors like gender, nationality, and even relatable personalities come into account when selecting a favorite fighter. This is also the easiest way to get involved into the game, having the ability to just pick any number of characters that may fit your common playstyle and jump right into the gameplay streamlines the early decision making process and offers more to learn. In a competitive esports game, matchups are extremely important in the competitive environment. And the more characters, abilities, and styles you have to break down, the more your fan base has to talk about. Also, live service games such as ESBC will always benefit from more in-game characters because, and we should never forget, that creating video games is a business. Having downloadable content is important, and as much as new skins and apparel is important in this post-Fortnite era, so are many playable characters and fighters. And in there lies money to be made. Now, that is a more intricate idea, but sometimes simply seeing your favorite fighter in the game is all it takes to sell someone. Humans aren't as difficult as they may seem sometimes, but mark my words, the screams for content will come and it will be swift. Lastly, before this gets too long, I want to talk about character customization. This was early on probably the most requested mechanic on the channel. A deep character customization can bring a great feel to just about any game. Having the ability to create yourself a completely random fighter or even a family member and run them through an entire career has always been an appealing feature, especially in sports. Having the added bonus of creating a character, sharing that character online, where others can challenge him or her in virtual sparring matches sounds to have an even greater appeal. The result is an experience where you connect to the gameplay and even increases the stakes in a game like ESBC because your character's virtual reputation is really on the line. 50 stats to design your character with is nuts. It's really in the realm of where you could quite possibly never see another fighter like yours. That is until the best fight stats videos start to cycle around YouTube. But that level of creation is really one of the major benefits of a deep character customization. 
So what's more important? I honestly don't believe either of them will weigh more than the other. And, and I also don't believe the current roster list, albeit UK heavy, will be a glaring issue. Fight fans have waited too long for boxing to come back to the virtual world. Once the luster of how many characters the game has, you build your perfect fighter and you get to you get the hang of the mechanics. What's really going to be left to carry the online tuner conversations is really going to be the game's meta content and balancing. Now, don't get me wrong. If the game doesn't play well early on, the game will die. If a game doesn't have characters you can relate to, then it may not appeal to you. And if you expect character customization that doesn't live up to your expectations, then you can feel a bit let down. But when all that is satisfied, something has to keep your game moving. I ultimately believe what ESBC is offering on its new webpage is just what is needed. The esports tournaments will offer the incentive to really be good at the game on a competitive level. Having a rich roster will be necessary to maximize the number of people who want to purchase the game. I personally think going after Javante Davis while getting some sort of backing from Mayweather Promotions would be a great move to inch closer to that Al Heyman PBC area and ultimately get those fighters in your game. Wink, wink. That's kind of just a, uh, a free tip from the coach if y'all are listening. Also, adding Eddie Reynoso has to have fans salivating that we are getting closer to seeing canelo added to the roster also i know y'all have somebody's got to have connected the dots at this point but also the rpg style traits and customizations will undoubtedly lend hours upon hours of lab time masterminding and molding the perfect fighter so that's it for me i hope you all like this kind of like essay style video if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and let's continue the conversation in the comments. What is going to be the most important aspect of the game for you, really? Let me know down below. Thank you for coming back to the Coach's Corner, and I'll catch you in the next one.